My name is Vinny, I'm 15 years old and I'm a type 1 diabetic. I'm Sam and I'm Vinny's mum. When I was first diagnosed, I was 14 years old and I think the worst thing about finding out I had diabetes was mainly having to monitor everything I ate and drunk and having to get into the mindset of having to finger stick every day and inject every day, carb count everything I was going to eat and make sure everything I drunk wasn't was sugar free. When Vinnie was diagnosed as being a type 1 diabetic, it was a horrific experience. It was uh, a diagnosis that came out of nowhere. Vinnie was very poorly. It affected every single one of us, from me and his dad, down to his brothers and sisters, to the rest of the extended family. Just caused this, this ripple effect through, throughout everything that you do, it just affects you from day to day living. A typical day for me before I got Dexcom, it was mainly I'd worry a lot due to having no hyper awareness. It was if I went low, I wouldn't know. Even if I went high, I wouldn't know. But it was more worrying at night because I never knew if I'd go low in my sleep, which eventually caused me to stop sleeping. Night times were just horrific absolutely horrific. It would be a build up from tea because Vinny would start getting anxious because he knew it was night time and that he was so terrified that he wouldn't wake up and he would slip unconscious. It was just draining and soul destroying that this was happening every single night where I think for 12 months we didn't sleep. Before we had Dexcom, Vinny wasn't allowed to leave the house. No, I'm only joking. Um, Nervous would be the word that I would use. Just scared that something would happen and that we wouldn't know that he'd gone low or, or, or anything like that. And for a child to be on the park and having to check, a teenager especially with mum, on um, mum check watch, seeing where he's up to and him having to finger stick on the park in front of his, his peers is just, yeah, it was, it was awful. With my mum, like constant messaging me that, I get where she was coming from, but at the same time, I know she was just looking out for me, but sometimes it could get a bit annoying. Thanks for that. No, <laughs> but then it, I also get where she was coming from. And now that I've got the G5, I sleep a lot more because it's a lot louder and it alerts my mum along with myself, so I know if it doesn't wake me up, it'll wake my mum up. I must admit, I do have a sneaky peek at my phone in the middle of the night, but I don't need to get up and I don't need to go and disturb any and I don't go and finger stick him. Because um, I know that if he is low, it will alarm and tell me. And if he goes high as well, it will alarm and tell me, then I know I can go in and do a correction, give him some more insulin and bring his levels back into, into control where they should be. My favourite feature about the G5 is probably the fact that I have my device as well as it connects to my phone, so it's like I always have a backup. And it also helps when it comes to like my mocks and my exams in school because I have to turn my phone off and leave it in my bag, but I can take my device with me and put it on silent. I use a share app um, so that I can keep my eye on Finney. Um, it's also good to have a heads up so that if, because he's got no awareness of being high or being low, um, if he, once he starts to fall into a hypo or a hyper, my phone will alarm me. I just tend to just watch him just for a little bit, don't jump in too quickly, because sometimes he can go a little bit on the low side, but then he will he'd naturally come back up. And then obviously if he doesn't, we can step in at that point. Uh, school will love it, because they just uh, it's like a, another set of eyes looking on him. That's how his teacher said it was for them. We, one incident was he was doing PE and he was up playing rugby and my phone had alarmed to say that he was a 3.9 going straight down. The rule with Vinny with school is that I watch it for five or ten minutes and if it starts getting below three or heading that way and he's not come back up after ten minutes that I am allowed to ring school. So at this particular point I rang school, I spoke to the, the lady that deals with medical and said I've got an alarm off in here. At that point, it was 3.4, still going down. I said, I'm only ringing because I do know that he's got PE. 
and that maybe he's not got his phone or, or with him or his device might be on the side of the pitch. And she came to find you, didn't she? Mm. So she said she was running down the corridor to try and find Vinny. But by the time she got to him, he'd gone a bit low and was, was, had gone wobbly at that point. So really, if I'd not picked it up, he could have carried on playing and just not realised because he's... I think your device was at the side of the pitch, weren't it? And we, that was good because we picked him up there and then and she dealt with him and sorted it out. So it does, it does work even in school. It's really good. And given me the confidence for him, for him to be out with his friends and not me watching him every, you know, ringing him every five minutes to see where he is and if he's okay. And especially now, because he's, he's going to college this time. So that's, that's even less of a security blanket than high school is. So I'm, I feel quite happy about him going there, knowing that he's going to be fine.